Well, my name is John French. And I am the curator of the Moist Towelet Museum. I also work at the Abrams Planetarium. <laughs> ah, the Moist Towelet Museum, yes. I probably have several thousand. I've never really gave it a real precise count, but estimated it to be several thousand. I have quite a few that I do like. You know, like the Russian Railway is an interesting one. There's one from a Russian Railway that looks very old. There's one from a sumo wrestling match. A friend of mine was in Japan. He was at a wrestling match and they gave the little box lunch. And inside the box lunch was a moist towelette with some sumo wrestlers on it. The finger pinky, that's another good one. It's the secretary's hand cleaner. I do like that one. But there's not one that's like the best. <laughs> I mean, we're just talking about moist towelettes here, you know. <laughs> you know, I don't really know which one was the first. I do know that the oldest one that I have in the collection is from 1963. That wasn't one of the first ones I had, but somebody gave those to me. Actually, it was a, a friend of my mother's that had them in her closet somewhere, and she knew I collected the moist towelettes. I started collecting moist towelettes probably back in the 1990s. <laughs> Around that time, the internet was kind of new, back in the 1900s. And so I typed in moist to see if there was any moist towelette references on the internet. And I didn't find any, so I said, I'm going to make the first moist towelette collection on the internet. And so I started collecting moist towelettes. So on the website, there is a Star Trek towelette, but I don't have that one in the collection. Somebody emailed me the picture of the Star Trek towelette, so I would love to get some of those. That would be like my holy grail to be able to get some of those Star Trek moist towelettes. I have a guest registry here in the Moist Towelette Museum where people can put their name and their hometown and I ask on there what do they collect and I have all kind of um, interesting things on that list of things that people collect from comic books, match books. If you look at the guest registry you can see all the amazing different things that people collect. I used to work at a planetarium in Pittsburgh and <laughs> for, for whatever reason uh, my co-worker and I James Hughes we used to you know joke around about things and one of our kind of running jokes if we would make a new planetarium effect that would look really cool on the dome he would say or I would say oh that's so cool I need a moist towelette and we would you know just kind of that was kind of like one of our running jokes you know that we would you know make references to moist towelettes for whatever reason. But yeah, I mean now, you know, I mean I never imagined when I first started collecting them that I would get them from all over the world and that people, just strangers, would, would send them to me. It kind of became the Moist Towelette Museum a few years later, in the later 90s, I was working at a planetarium in Texas. We had a display case that had a Mars rover exhibit in it. And I took all the Mars stuff out and I laid all the moist towelettes in this display case and made a little sign that said Moist Towelette Museum. You know, it was just kind of as a joke for my friends. And they came and laughed, thought it was kind of funny. And then being lazy, didn't put the Mars display back, but I noticed that visitors to the planetarium were spending a lot more time looking at the moist towelette collection than they ever did to the Mars rover exhibit that we had. And so then when I started working here, brought my collection along with me and set it up in the corner of my office. And people have been stopping by ever since to check out the collection of moist towelettes. That was beautiful. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cut. Cut.